What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Trevor, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a speed button uh, bonanza right here. Yeah, we, uh, we, we used the speed button to battle a boatload of people. Now, if, for a video that could have taken about an hour, it got reduced to 15 minutes or so. All because, well, you know, this is the craziest part of Kanto. We, there's a lot of trainers for this very specific reason. We're trying to train up for Koga because, believe it or not, Koga is a strong Pokemon trainer right here. It got boosted up probably like about 10 levels or so. So what's going to happen is we're going to... Yeah, we're definitely going to be uh, training our Pokemon to no end so we can actually get them to level 40. We got three out of the, of the six Pokemon to level 40, and we are close to getting Terramana up to level 40 right here. Now... There, there are a lot of Pokemon that I switched. There's a lot of Pokemon, or there's a lot of Pokemon that I, or trainers that I've actually skipped out on. And uh, eventually, you know, eventually we're going to be switching up moves, doing the whole shebang right here for all these Pokemon that, that I have right now. Um, in our last episode, well, look at that. We found ourselves a, we found ourselves a Ponytail right here. Now, hopefully we do not make this Pokemon faint. This is going to be a good addition to to the Pokédex. Now, like I mentioned before, a few episodes ago, we actually caught ourselves a uh, caught ourselves a nice amount of Pokémon right here. As you can see, Ponyta is the Fire Horse Pokémon, and I'm just like, right now, I'm kind of thinking of Pokémon that I can trade to po and Yellow. So, let's see. We're gonna continue on right here, trying to get uh, Terramon to level 40. And it is a huge risk just going up against these Pokemon because, well, fighting type Pokemon right here. Um, yeah, I I went to the Safari Zone, caught a few Pokemon that I didn't expect to capture. Kind of like, uh, kind of like, uh, what was it called? Uh, like Kangaskhan. I'm actually thinking of using Kangaskhan in one of the teams that I have. Uh, and you know, I, I can uh, I can open up suggestions right here. Uh, I'm actually gonna be, sh I'm actually, like, by the end of this episode right here, I'm actually gonna show the Pokemon that I've actually captured off-screen. That way you guys can get a nice selection of what Pokemon I can actually use and all that stuff. If you guys have a nice suggestion, go right ahead, because these Pokemon are gonna be showcased in my Pokemon HD, uh, my Pokemon Journeys HD channel, with my Pokemon Red, Blue, and possibly Green. And, well, let's see, let's go ahead and just beat this guy right here. Of course, I got Surf Attack, and... I'm being a little uh, selfish with uh, Torpedo, and well, look at that, look at that, okay, boosted, level 37, and now we're taking on a Muck right here, now the goal is to get my Pokemon, all my Pokemon to level 40, and it looks like to me that <laughs> that won't happen in this episode because, well, we've pretty much faced most of the trainers right here. And, uh, well, we're going to be using Torpedo for the majority of this battle right here. So let's go right ahead and do that. There might be a trainer here and there that I, I could battle. And there we go. So, I think that's pretty much it for all the trainers right there. Or I could be wrong. <laughs> it took it took about three minutes or so. Three, more, three minutes and change. And, well, I'm just making sure that I, I know uh, I know everything right here. Or <laughs> well, let's see. I think we I think we got most of them done right here. So, let's go right ahead and move on to the next area that I did not hit. And that happens to be close to Vermilion City. Now, there's just one little issue. The trainers there are way underleveled. And we're not going to get all the experience points that we needed. So... That right there is, uh, well, I kind of, uh, I guess you could say it's a little bit of a waste of a time. But, you know, I kind of want to do it anyways, just because, well, you know, get these Pokemon leveled up. Uh, off screen, I can actually go in here into the Diglett's Cave and actually start battling everybody. So, or battling a Diglett, Dugtrio, the occasional Dugtrio and all that stuff. So, as you can see, these Pokemon are not, they're not up to level. So, we're just going to be trying to get, we're, just, we're gonna we're going to try and get our, uh, our torpedo up to level 40 because its boosted stats can actually can actually can actually get there. As you can see, it's at level 39 right now, one level away. Now I'm trying to think of an area where you can actually find some some uh, rare candies, but I think I've already used up most of the areas until we get to uh, Cinnabar Island, I believe. And that was it right there for them. Now 
the reason why I, I didn't come into this area right here is because uh, it was there was no point. There was no point in me coming here since I've already completed most of the stuff. And uh, yeah, this game has a like has areas where there's uh, more trainers than what you need to actually battle. And so, you know, I was like, screw it. I'm just going to I'm just going to skip it and maybe just maybe battle it some off screen or anything. But since many of you guys want to see me battle these guys, I guess the speed button doesn't hurt right here in this episode. I don't know. Okay, so this guy's never won, and he's coming out with a Vulpix. This is where you initially find these Pokemon right here, and right now it looks like that we're going to get five out of the six Pokemon up to level 40. So, it, yeah, and, and there we go. Okay, so Torpedo still hasn't grown to, hasn't grown to level 40. It's a, <laughs> it's a doozy right here. And there we go, level 40. Okay, so Sir Razor's the only Pokemon that has not gotten up to level 40. And it looks like to me I'm going to be... Yeah, I'm going to be training it like nobody's business right here. So let's see, Sir Razor. Let's go right here. And I think I've already taken... Yeah, I've already taken on this trainer, but not this one. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, it keeps on it keeps on doing some stuff, some weird stuff when I uh, put the speed button on right here. So we're just gonna continue on, and there's Eradicate, and that is that. Okay, so that's all the trainers right there. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna fast forward and grab a Pokemon that knows Cut because there are quite a, there may be two or three trainers and a few items that I need to get, and uh, it could be useful right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we got ourselves Dubasaur back onto the team, not going to evolve it just yet. I'm actually just going to be using it for its cut technique because there are quite a few spots that I kind of want to I kind of want to show uh, where you can actually get, grab some items. And plus, there are some trainers that I have yet to take on, and it could be beneficial for uh, for what was it called for Sir Razor just to get to get up to level 40 right here. Now I don't expect it to get to level 40, but just close enough. And well, let's go right ahead and do this and uh, go back down. So, anywho, like I was saying before, guys. I'm going to show, like, right after this, I'm actually going to show the kinds of Pokemon I captured at the Safari Zone, plus, um, you know, uh, what, what else I caught off screen. Now, if you guys have any suggestions for any of these Pokemon right here, for me to trade over to Red and Blue, comment down below. I'm, I'm trying to get you guys all involved in this and all that stuff. So, as you can see, we got this guy, and we got a Fisherman. We got a Fisherman right here, and, well, let's go right ahead and just beat it. Of course, Magikarp's are trash and all that stuff so yeah all right grab this and by some miracle this tree grows back up so that is kind of scary right there so let's go ahead and use cut right here and i think there's another area right here that you can actually yeah you'll be able to find an interesting pokemon right here there's two pokemon that you probably can find around here now that they're made available so let's go ahead and see what we can find it's a pidgey I'm gonna try and find it right here. That's an Oddish. Let's see. That's a Bellsprout. Bell Sprout. I don't think. Hold on. That's a Weeping Bell. And there it is, guys. We found ourselves a Far Fetched. So, if that's another Pokemon that you guys want to see onto a particular team, then go right ahead and vote on that. And Crap Baskets. Okay, so I kind of didn't expect that. Okay, so. More experience points. Let's go ahead and try and find it again. But yes, this is the location where you can actually find yourself a uh, where you can actually find my uh, find yourself a far fetch. It's just uh, it's super rare, as you can see. It's right there, and its defense has fallen. But now we can actually get this far fetch right here since we have uh, quite a few Ultra Balls. Not trying to use Irons right here, and yes, this Pokemon is a little little hard to capture. And as you can see, bam. Caught ourselves far fetched. So here it is, far fetched. The wild duck Pokemon lives where reedy, uh, reedy plants grow. They are rarely seen, so it's thought that their numbers are decreasing. Now, let's see. I could nickname this Pokemon, but I'm not because it's not the same as the Kalos region, or yeah, the not the Kalos region, but uh, you guys already know what I'm talking about. Is it the Kalos region? Dang, I'm, I'm completely forgetting these Pokemon right here. Now, 
Where to find a Lickitung? That is beyond me. I think you can find it right here somewhere. So I'm gonna be right back with you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna see where I can actually find a Lickitung so I can show it to you guys. Okay, so here we are back, and no, you cannot get yourself a Lickitung just yet. You can actually find it over at the Cerulean Cave, which is a, actually a very smart a smart location to actually put that Pokemon in. It's just good gravy. Would have loved to have a Lickitung so I could trade it and all that stuff. But anywho, let's go, let's go ahead and continue on right here. Now, there is an area right here where you can actually capture some more Pokemon. Farfetch is one of them, but there's... A little spot right here that we need to hit up because I think there are two trainers that we can actually battle over here Hopefully and then there's an item that you can actually get maybe one Pokemon. Yes, there's one trainer and There's an item right there. Okay, so here we have the TM 20 Which would probably be I don't know. What, 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 what would it be? Let's see that is the rage attack. So I think we've already gotten rage before it's just uh, we haven't recognized it So here we have Another Pokemon, and she has traded some Pokemon right here, like Clefairy. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. And we have defeated Ra uh, Clefairy. Okay, so that's that. Now, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go straight to Viridian City, because there's another area right here where you can actually cut and get, some, uh, get another item right here. So if you guys remember... You come right over here, you will be able to find this tree, two trees, uh, uh, to be quite honest, and you can actually cut one of these guys to talk to this guy who is sleeping. Yawn! I must have dozed off in the sun! I had this dream about a drowsy eating my dreams. What is this? Where did I get this TM from? This is spooky. Here, you can have this TM. And we get ourselves the TM42, which is Dream Eater. And yes, it's Dream Eater. Snore. Wow. How would you know that? So that right there is how we end this episode right here, guys. Uh, yeah. So off screen, I am going to have to train Sir Razor just a little bit more just to get to level 40. As you can see, the majority of our team is at level 40 with the exception of Sir Razor. And uh, yeah, we kind of want to be prepared for Fuchsia City, uh, the Fuchsia City gym. So yeah, we're going to... We're going to try and find a, a, the best spot for this Pokemon to actually train. And actually, you know what? There are two more trainers right here. Or one. Or two. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, do this, okay? Completely forgot about these guys. And yes, they do have a Water-type Pokemon, which is fantastic for me. The only problem is I used up the... I, yeah, I used up my... Uh, my uh, what was it called? Uh, my, Mega, my Mega Drain attack. And well... Now we're going to go with the Acid, battle this guy, Speedo Torpedo, and this is all Sir Razor. Hopefully it gets up to level 36 right here, or 37, and well, that is that. Now, if you guys go right here, this is added to Pokemon Yellow, and if you talk to this guy, Dogs and Burgers on special today. Hmm. And this is a Pikachu right here. Now, this is the location where you can actually do the Surfing Pokemon, or the Surfing Pikachu. Now, the only thing is... I believe by special event on to Pokemon Stadium, yes, Pokemon Stadium, you can actually do the surfing Pikachu uh, Pikachu event right here. So that's probably what we're, what we're going to be doing when we get to Pokemon Stadium. That's how we're going to do it. Now, there is a cheat to get the surfing Pikachu. The only problem is, well, the only thing is I don't want to use it. I don't want to do the cheat because, well, you know, you guys already know. So... This is the episode right here, guys. In the next episode, we will be facing Koga, the gym leader. And, uh, well, comment down below for the team that you guys want to see. Actually, you know what? Yeah, before we do that, yeah, some of you guys are just going to be like, you forgot, Draven. You forgot. So, here we are into the PC. And I'm going to actually show you guys the last two boxes because that's where the majority of these... Uh, the majority of these uh, Safari Zone Pokemon are. So let's go to box number two. And yeah, we... Oh, crud. Okay. So that right there is uh, not going to happen. So let's go back to box number one. And uh, deposit this little guy right here. And yes, we will be evolving that Pokemon pretty soon. Well, later on. And uh, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go back and uh, go to... Yes, the next box, which would be box number two. 
And as you can see, I caught two of uh, two of different Pokemon, mainly because I have to trade them and all that stuff. So I got two Cubones, two Tangelas. We got Rhyhorn. I called it Rhinox after the po or after the character from uh, Beast Wars. We got Executumon, and here we have two. Oh wow! Yeah, here we have. Uh... Next, actually, let's let's actually let's actually show this. Here we have a Dratini. We got two of them. Okay. Now. Don't necessarily remember why I caught two, but I just wanted to. I don't know why, but we got two Dratinis. As you can see, Dragon-type Pokemon. I am not going to be using it right here on this walker because, well, we already have a full team. But if that's a Pokemon you want to see on another, yeah, comment down below. And here we have two Poliswags. You know, nothing too big, Goldeen. Here we have Mega Megacon, the Kangaskhan right here. Now, this Pokemon is speedy. It does have a nice attack and it is a normal type pokemon as you can see it does have comet punch rage bite this is a pokemon that i would love i would have loved to have on my team right here but you know i've already picked it out and then uh, here we have the two tanks we got diglett drowsy zoro jigglypuff hurricane and the other draco now if you go to box number three right here we're gonna be going there's a little bit of more well there's three pokemon here we have ponyta I would, uh, I would love to see this Ponyta see some action as a Fire-type Pokemon somewhere. And here we have Psyblade, the Scyther poke or the Scyther. As you can see, it is at level 15. So it is at a good level. It is bug and flying. We don't normally see a lot of bug-type Pokemon being used here. And its attack and speed are deadly. As you can see, it does have quick attack, but it does have the capability to learn some other great moves. So again, guys, if you guys want to see, if you guys want to see these Pokemon onto Pokemon Red and Blue in my Pokemon Journeys HD channel, please comment down below on what you want to see. Now, here's exactly what I'm planning on doing on Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green. We're gonna be picking the Pokemon specific to their color. Obviously, Red. We're gonna be going with Charmander, Blue, Squirtle, and Green, Green Bulbasaur. So let me know down below. Come down with the team, that way we can actually be a little bit more interesting into these uh, these next three walkthroughs in my Pokemon Journeys HD. So, I'll be back for another episode, guys, when we take on Koga, the Fuchsia City Gym Leader. Comment down below, hit the subscribe button, the notifications button, and if you guys want to make a small donation, the link's down there below. I will see you guys for another episode of Pokemon Yellow. See you guys.